Good morning, Ellis. Did you get up there and can't get down again? My Ellie girl. Catch you later. Well, good morning, Fluffy. How are you? Fluffy cat. Good morning, everyone. I just noticed you can see <laughs> the phone reflecting in my mirror coating and my glasses, but oh well. Um, I wanted to do a quick little video to tell you some exciting news. Well, to me, it's exciting. To you, it would be like, oh, big deal. But remember when I went to my pop's house and we saw his gardens? Well, I went there again last night. My husband and I went there. I made pop some delicious New York strip steaks and with vegetables straight out of the garden. I, mean, I think that's the beautiful thing about having your own garden is, you know, you get a lot of food for free. So then you can spend more money on things like steaks. <laughs> so do you remember me talking about those metal chairs that I wanted so bad? Well, my amazing neighbor, Dan, let me borrow his truck and we ran and we got those chairs. Yes. Here they are, all three of them, nice in a row, completely dirty, in need of some massive love and attention. Like you can see, like this has had like a green, it looks like maybe the original was a green and then a tan painted over it. Um, there's white detailing that had been done. Um, so can't wait to get into these things. This one's really, really rusty. Um, but again, it looks like <clears throat> dual colors in there. But I can't wait to um, to redo these bad boys. So it's definitely going to be a work in pro progress. Not sure how quickly I'll get to them. But the fact is, is they are here. Which means anytime I don't have anything else to do, I can be working on them. So, very excited. Super thankful to Dan for letting me borrow his truck. And thankful to my grandfather for uh, not telling me no and forgetting that he said I could have them in the first place. So, yay. So since the garden tour this past weekend, I've done, well, I feel like I've done a lot of different things in the garden. <clears throat> well, for one, I've, I've pulled out and harvested a ton of stuff from banana peppers and jalapeno peppers and the butter stick squash and um, what else? You know, more beets, more lettuce, things like that, uh, and cucumbers. <laughs> I think I still have three big cucumbers in there in the house ready to be eaten. So <clears throat> the garden is starting to produce a pretty good harvest, which is great. Um, but other things have happened too. I've, I've seen a squash bug on one of my squash. Um, I think I showed, maybe I didn't show, I can't remember. Um, but I saw, I think I had like a boar, a boar bug in one of my zucchinis. Um, I went online and I shoved some metal up the hole trying to find it and kill it. Couldn't find anything. So I don't know if it came and it left or if it was just too tiny to be squashed. But I did see where you can cover it up the hole with dirt. Um, so the leaves of the plant still are looking halfway decent. So fingers crossed. I have torn apart my aquaponic system. I have planted new things in the raised beds. I have done all kinds of stuff. And I have no idea why my voice sounds so funny this morning. Um, but I don't want to get into a garden tour right now. I just wanted to say, hey, good morning. I got the chairs. And I really hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, here it's Tuesday, July 14th. It's the morning. Got my coffee. Mmm. So good. And it looks like <clears throat> the ground is still a little moist from last night and we've been getting some small showers so I haven't been having to water every day um so I'm just gonna fill one of these ground 
I'll probably come out and water later. But <sighs> it's a beautiful day. It is. Not a cloud in the sky. I saw somebody post on Facebook that, you know, you're officially old lady status when you just can't wait to go out and have that morning walk in your garden. <sighs> this is what being old feels like. I'll take it.